No time to celebrate, Dick. Making it to the Final Four means you have two games left. Only one team will make it to the championship after tonight's game between the Virginia Cavaliers and the Oklahoma Sooners. This place is rocking and rolling, baby! The Sooners are the highly favored team in this one, Dick. Still, what are the keys for the game? Well, the key should be simple tonight, Brad. First of all, don't let the other team dictate the tempo and the pace. Play at your speed, baby. Next, pound the ball inside. Challenge their big men. Finally, beware of turnovers. Protect the basketball. You want to minimize the amount of free possessions that you give to the opposition. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. Doesn't go. Controlling the ball. High post flashes for the ball handler. Number 23 fakes the shot. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Perfectly executed. Takes the pass in the paint. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. The power forward takes the pass in the paint. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Trying to go inside. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. The ball goes out of play. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Number 30 with a rejection. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. to get it to the inside and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. There's the pick. Number 45 is pounded on his way up. He steps up to the line. Misses the first shot. Misses the free one. Boards it. They need to get out and run their lanes now. High post flashes for the opportunity. Trying to draw some contact. He puts it in with contact and all. Working it around the perimeter. The shooting guard gets the pass. From downtown. Oh, yes. Here's a flash from the post up high. There they come with a double team to stop it. Number 44 takes it away. You really need to protect the ball around these guys. Back it up, back it up. We'll see that one again. <laughs> Keeps the dribble as they regroup. There's the block. They still don't score. Dumps it in. Down low, there's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I got deep. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And the ball goes out of bounds.
Trying to feed inside. Double team now, bad angle. On the dribble, gives it up. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. He's got a high post flasher. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Moving it around the perimeter. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He's got the man in the high post. If he can get it there, kicks it out. Got the shot if he wants it. For two, way off target. He buries it. He takes a play on the defensive end. They'll work it around the arc. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Great play to take that to the basket. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Well, thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul, Dick. He's out of control, baby, out of control. Number 30 draws the personal. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He goes to the free throw line. Makes the first. Gets two at the charity strike. Looking for a good shot. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. For the bucket, can't get the shot to go. Perfectly executed. Let's go back and watch that basket again. The shooting guard gets the ball. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Nice job of dribbling off the screen, but the shot just didn't fall. Tries for two, in and out. The point guard with the ball. On the outside. Gave it up. The center takes the pass. He takes the shot off the baseline. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. The crowd really admires this young man. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. The center takes the feed. Puts it on the floor and up and under. And off the mark. It's just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Turns it over. <laughs> Using his size with a power move. Oh, what a power goal. Jump stop, takes the ball to the goal, strong. on the floor and up and under and he missed got a man in high post on the dribble gives it up that spin moves not going to work against this defense that's a no no baby defensive player beats him to the spot he's taking his team out of the game plan with these shots Dick. yeah and even if he were hitting them Brad they're still bad shots 
tempo of the game really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Not a wise decision to take that shot there. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside troopers. They've got to attack inside and then out. Gave it up. Number 23 makes a great move to draw the foul. My goodness, Brad, what a play. That was a great play, Dick. I agree with you. He shouldn't let his emotions get the best of him, though. He better watch out. Number 23 goes to the line for the first time. Cashed it in. Both free throws go. Wow, the defender got the worst of that hard screen. Problem with that when you're front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you've got to get help because you've got to see more man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Very poor positioning on the double team there, Dick. These kids know better. We'll see if they get it right next time down. He comes away with it. Shoots it. It's good. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Stolen ball. From left of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I'll tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. When I hear Big 12 basketball, I think tough defense, half court, pound the ball inside offense. Hey, teams like Texas, Kansas, Oklahoma are usually on top of the stand because they can play that style. He looks at the hoop. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribble in act here and turns it over. Number 30 is whistled for the foul. I love the NCAA tournament more than maybe anything else in sports, and I love first halves like this where both teams are playing well. I tell you, two teams well coached, two teams who understand about offensive and defensive efficiency and understand to minimize fast break opportunities. This game is coming down to who can execute better in their half-court game because you're not going to get any easy layups tonight. Trying to get him in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Gave it up. And now they'll bring it up. Entry pass in the paint. Perfectly executed. <laughs> pick for the bucket great play to take that to the basket now the turnaround jumper I tell you what a nice turnaround jump shot soft as velvet fading away and passing the block they work the perimeter they've left him completely alone They're pushing that basketball help one another communicate For 
two. Oklahoma have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And, oh, good defense. Okay. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Got a wide open look. He launches a three. He buries the shot. That's a 7-0 run. On the dribble, gives it up with the fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. A little frustration right there. Nice high post screen. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the mark. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Top of the circle, they're working around the perimeter. Perfectly executed. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. It's that what makes college so special, the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Second one is no good. Nice rebound. Way to come out with the ball and push it up the court. Fill the lanes. That's the only way to be able to get some fast break opportunities. Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I like that. Tell you, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And the ball goes out of play. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> <laughs> on the outside. On the inside. The ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Looks at the three. Way off target. Working it around the perimeter. He fakes the shot. Excellent spacing. It's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Can't get the shot to drop. Fake. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Goes up for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. perimeter in the paint he's money with the shot <laughs> he 
think he's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an acceptable. And his shot rejected. Set that screen away. The ball goes out of play. Who said mascots were no fun? What a celebration. Hey, the mascot's getting in on the action. perimeter the Cavaliers have a mismatch in the post this may be a good opportunity for them to have. off the rim and no good look out defender is smacked by that screen trying to get that ball movement get that good spacing he looks for the bomb way off target comes defensively on him on the low block here. I tell you, three-quarter position trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. For the bucket. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Good fake. There's a double team waiting there. He goes for three. He seems determined to take the tough shot. But they're not falling, and the offense is being totally taken out of sync. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Tries for two. They still don't score. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. For two. He nails the bucket. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. For the bucket. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Gets it to go. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Way rejects it. Look at speed. I'll tell you, man. There's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. Opportunity for two for one. Tries one from three-point land. Off the rim and no good. Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Shot clock is dead. He goes with a jump hook, and in and out. And he'll kick it back outside. He takes the three. There was no doubt about that one. And the ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Horn, way off target. At the half, the Cavaliers are behind by 11. Best play of that half. Let's take another look. Oklahoma 
really did a great job of collecting the boards in the first half, Dick. Hey, collecting the boards and canceling out second chance opportunities, that's how you win ball games, baby. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. Thanks, Aaron. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their voice is beginning to fade. Went away from the post and goes the other way. From three-point territory, off the rim and no good. the dribble gives it up he fouled him oh and you can tell by the look on his face he wasn't expecting the whistle on him wow look at the facial expression he says me I tell you he missed the post guy the post guy had the great angle was locking on the box and off the mark on the outside the center handles the pass. He shoots from long range. He gets it to go. Look at that spacing. In the paint, looking for the foul. Number five makes the finger roll. Arm and foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Takes the pass in the paint. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Defense doing a great job pushing the basketball. The small forward handles the feed. Goes for the deep one. Scorches the net. Moving it around the perimeter. For the deuce. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Up and inside. The shooting guard receives the ball. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Fakes it. Here's a double team. They still don't score. He'll kick it back outside. Jump hook from the low post. This guy's not looking for anybody else out there. You're right, Brad. He's got a little too much to prove right now. He dials long distance. Rims out. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good.
for two. They're trying to build an entire neighborhood with all those bricks, Brad. They need some buckets, and they need them in a hurry. For the bucket, Virginia are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. He intercepts it. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Got a nice screen. And the ball goes out of play. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. They work the perimeter. He shoots from outside. Way off target. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. decided to go in another direction with things right here, Dick. It wouldn't kill them to get a little diversity in their play right now. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. From way outside. Got it! The Sooners lead by nine. Looking for a good shot. The small forward and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Working it around the perimeter. Unloads. Great job of freeing himself with the screen, but shot will go. Working around the perimeter. He shoots from right of the circle. Rims out. paint that wide stance and the drops to it's good he took a mid-air whacking but he got the layup to fall hey brad he deserves a free one for that play now look at him celebrating with the cheerleaders of all people i love the zest of the young man dancing with the cheerleaders that's awesome brad dick we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking out of the box. Coming inside. Goes up for two. The land. Looking for contact. And he scores despite the hack. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stressed during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. Thanks, Aaron. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you know, great post play. You got a chance really to win. Moving it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Picks off the lazy pass. They'd like to get it inside of the low block. Unable to so far. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. A 
Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, a sense of urgency down here on the bench. The coaching staff is starting to sense their players are starting to panic, and they want that stopped before any further damage is done. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. For the bucket, off the rim and no good. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. On the outside. Nice fake. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Puts it up, looking for contact. Oklahoma are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they're putting it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Wide open for the shot. He lets it go. Off the rim and no good. For two, and off the mark. They work the perimeter. Great anticipation defensively. From the top of the key. Buried it. Takes the pass in the paint. Goes up for two. The Cavaliers have a special roster, which I know you're in love with. Dick. Well, their roster is pretty special, Brad. You know why? Because of the seniors, the leaders, the dependable ones. They're so important. The fake. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. They work it around the perimeter. Now they work it around the perimeter. Steals the pass. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. For the bucket. Doesn't go. Any chance these guys are going to slow up on D tonight, Dick? Hey, not on your life, Brad. This defense is here to stay, baby. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. From left of the circle, way off target. He goes with a jump hook. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Something inside. Step out on that screener. He takes the shot off the baseline. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. For two. In and out. Looking for a good shot. The ball goes out of bounds. Intercepted. On the dribble, gives it up. Give 
didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. And a momentary look from three-point land. That was a high post screen. Goes to the lane. Number 44 is pounded on his way up. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He goes to the line for the first time. Up and in. Makes his second shot. He shoots from the top of the key. It's good. On the inside. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He tries a jump hook. Rims out. Goes up for two. Off the rim and no good. Gave it up. With a jump hook. Can't get the shot to drop. On the dribble, gives it up. High post screen, gonna use it? No good. Look at that spacing. Tries for two. They still don't score. He fires from long range. And they still keep it alive. Another offensive board. Nobody blocking out. Wide open looks. Gave it up. He's money with a shot. Called for the defensive foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. Misses the second shot. These kids are really struggling from the free throw line tonight. I hope they can turn it around before it costs them the game. He goes with a jump hook. Dick, he's just taking too many bad shots. And I don't think he's done yet, Brad. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Sets a screen for his teammate. Not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Atta just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. They work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Here's the big man with a drop step. Oh, he does a phenomenal job getting close position. Good angle and then the drop step. Pass in the paint. Number 
32 steals the ball. Fans are pleased now, given the fact that this game is really out of reach. It's almost an expectation, Brad. You're supposed to win your home games, but winning by this amount, my goodness. Puts up the shot. He gets the shot to fall. On the dribble, gives it up. He fires away. He gets the bucket. Looking for a good shot. Takes the pass in the paint. They work the perimeter. Up and inside. He dials long distance. Rims out. Too much contact there and knocked him off balance a little. They work it around the perimeter. Way out on top, controlling the ball. He shoots from downtown. He gets the bucket to fall. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see raw man. That's essential when you play out there in the front. Well, Dick, the shot seemed to be dropping for him right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside-outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big plays. Just like in practice. Time out on the floor. They'll talk things over. we go. A kick out. Looks at a three. Got it. Double team now, bad angle. He shoots from the top of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Looking for a good shot. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. For two. He's definitely hogging the ball like you hog the microphone. Hey, sure he is. I can hear starting from here. Let's it fly. And he misses the shot. Gave it up. Intercepted. He lets it go. He buries the shot. the ball. Timeout. The second slowly ticking away here, Nick. Hey, they got to trim this lead if they want to have a chance to win this thing. Action's ready to start again. it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Defense getting back to prevent an easy bucket. Stolen. Dick, I think we saw a good tournament game. Both teams played pretty well. And, you know, I, I, 
feel bad for the team that's got to go home. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball and they made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about. And that was the difference in the game. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. The Sooners started this tournament with one goal, make it to the finals. Hey, don't be fooled, Brad. This team will be satisfied with just being a runner-up and getting to the big show. They have one game to win, and they'll be crowned NCAA champions. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.